we have not, we did not think through this war in Iraq. The, the, we, we did not think it through. The, you know, the civilian leadership, uh, you know, some of you may remember the debate when uh, there were generals who said, we're going to need 300,000 troops, we're going to need 200 at least, and everybody said, no, 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 we don't need that. You remember that? And as a consequence, we started this thing from, from the get-go, undermanned, under-equipped, low-balling the costs, and military families and our troops bore the burden of that poor planning. And they're still bearing that burden because that's why we have three, four rotations. That's why National Guard, men and women, and reservists are being used in ways that were never intended. And the strains are visible all across the armed services. And General Casey, Secretary of the Army, uh, you know, testified just a couple of weeks ago saying that we can't sustain this. And so what I've said is, uh, number one, I want to expand particularly the Army and the Marine Corps so that we have more active forces that have been trained so we can put people on proper rotations. They're getting the rest that they need. We are ending the stop-loss policy, uh, which I think is so difficult for so many people. But, and, and that is very important. Um, but also, and, and this is probably a good place for me to end, my job as Commander-in-Chief will be to keep the American people safe, and that means maintaining a strong military, and part of maintaining a strong military is using our military wisely. And that means that, you know, that means that I will not, I will not send our troops into conflicts where we have not thought through what are our strategic goals, what are our exit strategies, do we have the resources to accomplish what needs to be accomplished? Uh, because I will be thinking about uh, you know, those young men and women that I see in Walter Reed or, or other facilities. Uh, and I will remember their courage uh, and their patriotism. And, and that's not something that you deal with lightly. Uh, and, and that's the most profound decision that any president has to make. Uh, I intend to make it with the best of information, the best of intelligence, uh, and the best planning uh, that we have available.